Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. We're going to be playing around with um, powers of 10 with multiplication and division. Just remember, when you're multiplying in this situation with, well, we're not just using whole numbers, we're also using decimals, but your numbers are going to be getting larger, and when you divide, your number is technically getting smaller. So, if I have 15 groups of 10, well, that's the same as 150. Okay, what you have to realize is, what you're not realizing when you say 15 groups of 10 is 150, Technically, when we write the number 15, there's actually a decimal place right there. We don't need to put it there because we know 15 is a whole number, so there's no need for the decimal. But what's neat is when you moved over your decimal one place, that's where you're just putting the zero. The zero is a place value holder to make 15 become 150 because you have 15 tens. That same philosophy applies when I have 1 and 5 tenths times 10. Well, 1 and 5 tenths actually becomes 15 because you moved your decimal over, because they're saying you have 1 and 5 tenths times 10. So if I had 1 and 5 tenths, so think about that, 1 and 5 tenths plus 1 and 5 tenths plus 1 and 5 tenths, and I did that out 10 times, I'd actually get an answer of 15 when I added them up. Kind of like if I had 15 hundredths times 10. Well, again, I'd be moving it one place, because I'm multiplying it by 10, the place value holder. So 15 hundredths times 10 is the same as 1 and 5 tenths. Look what happens here. If I had 26 times 10, well, 26 times, I'm sorry, 26 times 100, not 10, 26 times 100, would be 2,600. So technically, what did I do? Well, the decimal was here with the whole number. I moved it over two places. I put it in my place where I hold it to represent the value of what 26 times 100 is. 2 and, two, two and, two and 6 tenths times 100, which would be 260, because again, I had to move my decimal place over two places, and then I had my you know, place value holder to allow it to represent its value. Then if you have 26 hundredths times 100, well, 26 hundredths times 100 would actually be an answer of 26. So that's just something to think about with multiplication. I know this is new for you. It's something you're adapting to. Just think about it and think about why it works. Not just the fact that you can say, well, I just moved the decimal over, the number zero is. Well, you can say that, but that's a rule. But think about why it works as you work on this learning opportunity. Let's go to division now and unpack that. Okay. So now we think about division. So remember, when you're dividing by a number, it's getting smaller. But we think about 32 divided by 10. Well, 32 divided by 10 is also written as a fraction. 32 over 10, which is the same as 3 and 2 tenths, which is a decimal is 3 and 2. Now, now mind you, every time do we have to convert into a fraction? No, we don't. But I just want to make sure you knew where that was coming from. So if you think about it, we have the number 32. It's moving one place to the left because it's getting smaller because it's the tens place. So 32 divided by 10 is 3 and 2 tenths. I just wanted you to know why it's 3 and 2 tenths. So 3 and 2 tenths divided by 10, well, again, moving one place to the left, would become 32 hundredths. Think about 32 hundredths divided by 10, again, one place to the left, would that give us an answer of 32 thousandths. So let's think about if we're not dividing by 10, what if we're divided by 100? 45 divided by 100, well, 45 divided by 100. Let's read that fraction, 45 hundredths. Well, let's write that, 45 over 100. Or 4 and 5 tenths divided by 100. So we're moving that decimal place two places, so it would become 45 ten thousandths. Actually, it would not be 45 ten thousandths. I just made an error. I apologize. Let's fix that because remember, I just moved it over two places. So it would actually be 45 thousandths. Sorry about that. See, we all can make mistakes when we're just trying to. That's why I don't want it to be a rule. I want you to think about what am I doing? All right, so if I put in my zero, that's why it'd be 45 thousandths. So again, this is an introductory, it's an opportunity for you to just think about how 
powers of 10 impact with multiplication and division of decimals. It's something we'll continue to talk about, but hopefully this gave you a little bit of structure to your learning opportunity this week. Thank you.